hi i hope you all are having a great day as requested by cheryl i'm making this beautiful satin lined pocket bonnet i know you are used to seeing just one layer of pocket bonnet but i wanted to teach you how to make one that is satin lined completely reversible and beautiful okay so let's do it <laughs> the first thing that we need is our fabric and our lining and because Kemba said my drawing skill is top notch, I decided to draw what a pocket bonnet looks like. It's like when a long bonnet and a durag decide to get married and give birth to a baby. That's exactly what a pocket bonnet looks like. And that's the shape of it that I just drew out. That's the shape we're trying to accomplish. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to fold my fabric like so. And I'm also then going to take my satin lining or the solid color and place it on the former pattern color like the way i just did it and then one side is unfold and the other three sides are opened then i'm going to measure the circumference of my head i'm using 11 inches uh because it's unfold that's 22 inches but since it's unfold i'm using 11 inches and on the side i'm using 20 inches know that these uh measurements are not standard if you are having braids on your head you should just make the uh the head circumference at least two inches bigger than your normal head circumference and you can make it longer than 20 inches if you want but for the purpose of this video i am using 11 by 20 inches go now at that uh, the joining i'm trying to create a curve and i just measured two inches on either side and join the curve on that those two points and i have a nice looking curve you see the nice curve so now i can then cut out my piece and you see that we are already creating the a pattern or the picture that we already talked about before so now i'm going to cut it out with my small but mighty scissors my normal scissors broke and i haven't gotten the new one yet so i'm using my small but mighty scissors and it's doing a pretty good job it's doing a decent job okay so after cutting out my shape the next thing we're going to talk about is our ties like the tie that we're going to put round to our head to tie it at the back or whatever if you want a short tie you can measure 35 to 40 inches but if you want long ties you you have to measure about 55 to 60 inches for the purpose of this video i'm just using the short ties because nobody got time to make a long ties right now okay so since my fabric is on fold i measured 18 inches by 5.5 inches okay so 18 inches multiplied by 2 is 36 inches and that is why i used 18 because one inch will be for my allowance since i'm going for 35 inches length i hope you understand the math ask me any question in the comment section you know i got you i will reply so it is 5.5 inches in uh width and the entire length of it is 36 inches because i need one inch for seam allowance okay so now after i cut my uh straps i have my the body of my pocket bonnet the next thing is to sew along the side like so so before i sew along the side i'm going to go down by four inches to create a little opening at the back so there will be ease when you want to wear the cap on your head from that opening or from that four inches mark that i made i'm then going to sew round about it so i finished sewing rounds about the pocket bonnet and you see that i left the four inches mark on both the lining and the colored pattern fabric and you see that our shape is already coming out it's looking very nice and lovely so i'm then going to put my um black satin inside the multicolored satin like so and i'm going to make that three inches mark i'm going to try to make that area neat by for, by facing the right sides to each other on both ends of the opening so on one end i'm facing the right sides to each other and i'm going to sew on the other end i'm also going to face the right sides to each other and so okay so i'm i'm showing you how i'm doing it right now i hope you can see it very clearly and then you see the way i face them to each other on either side and then i'm just going to stitch it down but in the case where you're not using satin lining and it's just one layer of uh, pocket bonnet you're making all you have to do is just fold that side into two like that and just stitch with a seam allowance of uh 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 that's 0 0.5 inches in total but since we are lining it we are not doing having one layer of pocket bonnet we are doing the sophisticated fine method i'm just going to take the the ends of the black and the colored stitch it down and do that for both sides 
now after sewing it this is what we have you see that that's those sides are looking very neat now i'm showing you what it looks like on the other side where i stitched it and i'm going to use the black part so it is very obvious what i did so i stitched it down to the right before the joining of the seam so i don't make i don't make the new stitch that i did to join the former seam if not it's going to buckle up and it won't look neat it will be a little bit ruffled at that edge so now the next thing that we have to do is to put in our ties the our short or long ties depending on the preference or depending on what you like or what you want to do so i set the tie in such a way so that i'll know exactly where my uh, stitching will stop so i notch that part and then i'm going to stitch the ties turn it inside out and stitch that tie all the way to the notch that i made and i'm going to do it for the other side also all the way to the notch i made so after stitching it i'm going to turn it inside out now and then i'm going to show you how to stitch it to your cap now after turning inside out i'm going to stitch it to normally i'm going to take just one side and stitch it to the to the front of the cap but i realized that it's better to take one side and stitch it to the back of the cap so let it be that you are stitching that one side to the black side or to the lining of your fabric i'm going to explain later why i would want you to do it under and not on top okay so so you take just one side of your uh, strap and stitch it round like that so i have finished stitching the one side and i'm trying to make put the other layer on top of it and then i realized that because this fabric is satin it does not shrink on the top so i will have a little bit excess at this point and we want to get rid of that excess if it was cutting once you iron it is going to sort of like uh shrink a little bit and you'll be able to sew on it directly but because it's satin there's no shrinkage so we're going to create a sort of like that a very tiny that maybe 0 0.25 inches that on that on the middle of our strap so that when we then layer it on top of it now there will be no excess so that's the tiny little trick that we can do to create to create a seamless band for our um our pocket bonnet now this satin is refusing to shrink it, it did not shrink when i ironed it so that's why i'm creating that that you might not have the same issue as me but if you do that is a nice trick that you can do to eliminate any gaping or extra or excess on your uh strap so now i'm just ironing my satin and i'm ironing the black side iron everything so when i lay my fabric it will look or well, sorry when i lay my band it will be neat and it will look uh, beautiful and mesmerizing <laughs> okay so after folding my band i'm ironing it step by step so i am folding my band on the uh, layer and iron it step by step so this is the reason why i want i wanted you to sew the sew the band to the black side so that you can see exactly what you are doing on the right side because this right side is the part that is going to face everybody that's the part that, that everyone is going to see so you want that part to be very very neat and that is why i said you should sew it to the black side and not to the up the upper side first okay so now we are going to top stitch this part that we have ironed we have ironed it is looking really nice and there is no extra there's no excess because we have put in our dad so now i'm going to take it back to the sewing machine and and sew it on the first trick again another trick again is to change my presser foot to my zipper presser foot now the reason why i'm changing to my zipper presser foot is so that i can see exactly what i am sewing like so that the normal um, the normal presser foot will not cover what i'm doing and i will not see that i'm sewing on a straight line or i won't see you know what i'm sewing anyway it's just to make it neat if you get my point you get my point so now i'm just going to take make a stop stitch a nice top stitch that is very close to the edge of my uh, of my band that joining between my band and the cap itself is very very close to it you almost not notice it and that is the reason why i said you should sew on this side instead of on the other side so now you see the front is neat the back is neat everything is looking so beautiful and so nice with our pocket bonnet our pocket bonnet is ready to be worn is ready to be rocked everywhere wherever anytime by whomever hey 
hey so now after that i'm going to wear it on my uh, mannequin head my mannequin doesn't have any hair so it's a little big just a tiny bit big on my mannequin head and then i'm going to tie the straps at the back you see that the straps are pretty short that's the 35 inches strap if you want to be able to tie it at the front then you want your strap to be at least 60 inches long now i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and you have learned a lot thank you very much for your time thank you very much for your support thank you for your comments make sure you like you subscribe you share this bye